Hey guys, I have all of the apps on DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats, and Spark. I actually picked up a schedule for Grubhub that kind of helped out the other day, but they have been completely quiet. DoorDash, I haven't heard anything from. Uber Eats brought me in a couple of offers to start me off, but you can take a guess. They weren't any good. The first one was for $7.49 for 7.1 miles, and these were two orders combined in there. That's an absolute no. And then they sent me another offer at $3.50 for three miles. That's an absolute no. And then Spark came in. They gave me an offer that I could not refuse. $33.72 for 0.4 miles. There are 20 some items that I have to shop for. Um, let's see, 28 items to be exact. I kind of went through the list. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of produce. I didn't see any meat. Um, so hopefully it should be a straightforward shopping trip. You never know, hopefully everything's in there. So we are going shopping and uh, I'm gonna see how quick I can get this done. The pay is excellent. The miles is awesome. So hopefully everything will go smooth. I'm gonna see how quick I can get this done. We're going in. Right, I've got the produce. The only thing is they wanted a pound of strawberries and they only have 32 ounces. So I'm gonna wait to the end to see if I get substitute for the 32 ounce. So I just stuck it in my carton case. Next item is a can of chicken breast and I have 24 items left. Um, we're getting there, we're getting there. I think the chicken breast is right here and it is a five ounce can, which should be this one. And they just want two of them. So I'm gonna scan barcode and it'll probably prompt me to make sure I get two and it does, which is awesome. I love that it does that. I'm gonna go ahead and confirm and confirm. And there we go. I'm gonna grab two of these and put them in my cart and off to the crackers. All right, to the crackers. They are right in front of me, which is always nice. This should be them. 16 ounces, 16 ounces. And let me grab this box. This box doesn't feel crumpled as the other one. <laughs> scan barcode, scanned, and we are good. Off to some biscuits, I guess. All right, now I need two of the mandarin oranges, which are right in front of me. And the aisle and everything matches up which i got one right here but this one is dented so i'm gonna find a better looking one and this one looks way better i'm gonna go ahead and scan and it'll probably prompt me for two it's telling me the wrong one mandarin oranges let me see here no sugar this says in light sugar all right where are you aha one over so close and this one should be it scan this prompted me for two so i will grab two of those and confirm okay now i'm down to 18 items so i will check back in with you guys as soon as i get a little bit lower and it's already been 20 minutes so uh we're gonna see how long this takes me 18 more items all right, so I am all done. I'm gonna go ahead and proceed to check out. I'm gonna go ahead and slide that. And shopping finished, continue. All right, I am ready to check out scan QR. I was wondering where this was earlier. There we are. And all set to go, proceed. It should give me my little pass. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bag. We are good to go. All right, guys, shopping is done. It took me about 55 minutes. Um, for the most part, it went smooth. My only couple of issues was one, you know, at the beginning of the store, I kind of went to the produce first rather than following the shopping list that Spark gave me where you kind of zigzag around the store because I kind of know this store. So I was going to go where I needed to go. Um, well, what I found out is if I need to do a substitution, I can't do it within that screen with the whole strawberry thing. So I held on to the strawberries at the end, um, but I did kind of go through the strawberries when I was there and tried scanning some of them and it just wouldn't go through. So I held held on to what I thought I could substitute them for. It was the next biggest thing from their, what they were looking for. 
and you know <laughs> it wouldn't go through i i tried everything with the strawberries i just couldn't get it to go through I'm not sure what the issue was there was another item that i was going to try to substitute but because i went my own way it wouldn't let me substitute it an employee overheard me talking about it and luckily enough was able to find one in the back which was very kind of him to go back there and look and he found one um but other than that it went pretty smooth they had everything else it was just the strawberries and then that other item that the employee had to go look for um so i just had to wait uh you know a few seconds or whatnot for him to go back there and get it and then i had to bag up all the groceries so yeah for 33 dollars and some change and the customer is literally less than two minutes around the corner order was definitely worth it we're gonna go get this dropped off they are in an apartment um but they are right around the corner and hopefully finding their apartment will be smooth so we are on our way to go get this order dropped off i am gonna message them and let them know i am on my way all right guys i have not made it to the customer i just had to one call them they didn't answer and text them i'm driving down the road and my gps just like goes blank like it stopped showing me where to go so i pulled over and usually you can kind of you know zoom in and kind of navigate and find where to go which i did and it's not the complex like I'm not sure where this customer is. I'm not sure if it's on my end or if they put the wrong address in. I'm trying to get a hold of them. Um, yeah, this is kind of frustrating. Thankfully, they're right around the corner from where I was shopping at, but this is one of the issues you can run into, and that's why I always say make sure the price is right just in case you run into issues. Uh, hopefully, she'll get back to me soon. I'm gonna try calling her again, and hopefully she'll answer and I can find out the name of her apartment complex and make sure that the address was input correctly so uh hopefully it doesn't take too long we're gonna find out all right guys so i i didn't hear back from the customer um so i went back out to the main road my gp my gps is acting funky i closed out of it went back into it 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 kind of realigned but then it just like froze i don't know what's going on but i went to there's kind of a green patch so i went on to one side of it where i thought it was at and then i went around and i've actually delivered to this apartment complex before for came in here and sure enough it's here and i've delivered to this customer before so um yeah thankfully again this customer was not too far from where i just came from um it happens but i'm happy that i found it sometimes you just gotta keep trying and it looked like it was on my end my gps i don't know why it's acting funky but it is and um we're gonna go get this dropped off and get these wheels back to moving had dropped off like i said i've delivered to this customer before when i pulled up the customer had texted me the name of their complex which i was already here i let her know that i'd found it and then i am here dropped off the groceries gave a knock and also sent a text message that the groceries are at her door um so all is good it took me a little bit over an hour i did get lost in finding the place i don't know what was going on with my gps something funky um but all is good customer thankfully was in the area um, from where that location was so I'm gonna see what else I can get get these wheels back to moving you know sometimes um, you feel like things just took a little longer but for $33 and some change for a little bit over an hour that's still not bad um, we're gonna see what the night brings ahead and get these wheels back to moving all right after I left the complex I got an order from Grubhub believe it or not uh, $10 13 cents for 5.5 miles and I got a notification that it's ready for pickup we shall see sometimes they accidentally hit the button you know at least from my experience in the past I'm crossing my fingers it's ready um, and we can get these wheels back to moving so we're going in <laughs> I know. Uh, Channing B. Grubhub. Perfect. Thank you. You too. Order was indeed ready, which is awesome. Customer is 11 minutes, 4.1 miles. Hopefully my GPS will behave itself. I may need an update. That might be the issue. Um, but yeah, let's go get this dropped off. Orders 
dropped off except I'm having GPS issues. I went into my settings and it looks like I have an update which may explain why I'm having issues. It's just like really lagging and then you know I kind of looked on the map that there was a back road because I would passed the street and um, it wouldn't like catch up with it. it's just acting really really funky finally because I kind of try to navigate by looking at the map myself it finally caught up but I was like <laughs> am I even going the right way found the house luckily but the GPS is just giving me issues I'm gonna have to update my phone tonight um, but I'm gonna get out of this neighborhood hopefully I can get out of here and uh, turn my other apps on because I was having to deal with the whole Navi thing and usually I'll turn on my other apps when I'm about five minutes till drop off. Couldn't even do that because I'm trying to get to the, the house. The customers watching me, they're probably like, what is going on? Uh, but all is good. I'm gonna get out of here and uh, see what else we can get. Got out of the neighborhood. I had to uh, get out myself. Like I said, my GPS is acting funky. Um, I don't know how this night's gonna go. I got an order, okay? But it's two orders in one from DoorDash. But I'm wondering how this whole navigation thing is going to go because it's for Red Robin and uh, Fresh Set. Now, Fresh Set, is that for Red Robins too? I picked up from Fresh Set, but it's been so long. It's one of those, um, you know, names that the restaurant also goes under. I can't recall who Fresh Set is. But I'm at Red Robin. I knew how to get here, but my GPS is acting completely funky. I do have my car Navi as a backup just in case. But um, yeah, it is not good when the Navi's not working because you're following it. And if it just drops on you, you're like not sure where to go. Um, I'm going to give it one more chance, but so far it's not acting good. Anyways, the offer that I got from DoorDash was for $16 at 5.7 miles. Again, it's two orders, Red Robin, which I'm here, Fresh Set. I'm going to find out if it's them. I'll ask them, but I'm um, going in to get the order. We're in for a ride, guys. We're in for a ride. Hopefully we're crossing our fingers. The GPS will not give me any issues, but so far that has not been the case. We shall find out. All right, I got both orders and Fresh Set was here at Red Robin just as I thought. Like I said, it has been a while with the whole Fresh Set, um, which is nice that they're both here. The other thing is, is the orders weren't ready when I went in there. So she told me about a 10 minute wait. I went in there. One of the orders was ready on the shelf. The other order she checked on and it was being bagged. So that was just like a minute or so and she brought it out, which all is well. And there was drinks. So got the drinks. We're good there. And then I go to you know hit the navi for the doordash and i get a message that says couldn't load directions to this address navi issues we're currently experiencing issues with in-app navigation use default navigation app or copy the address to search for directions so um and i used my you know in-app navi earlier to get out of a neighborhood and i was having issues too so i don't know what's going on if it's just navi in general like the maps or whatever um, but yeah, so I copied the address into my maps and it seems to be working, but it was working earlier when I left Walmart and then it just like completely crashed. So we're going to find out. Hopefully it, it will get me to where I need to go. Um, we're on our way to the first drop off, crossing my fingers that the Navi will be smooth. I do have my in a car Navi as backup worst case scenario, but um, hopefully I don't have to go there because I got to pull over, enter it. And yeah, I don't usually use this. I use my phone. So we're going to see how this goes. All right, guys, we are on our way. Hey there. How's it going? Good. <laughs> Good. Thank you so much. For yes, you're so memory. welcome. The little tag might fall off. Just, oh, okay. I, yeah, it keeps falling off. All right. Orders dropped off, but the Navi was very, very spotty. Um, I had to pinch and zoom and find landmarks and navigate myself here. Once I was literally a few houses from the customer, the Navi wanted to line. Um, a little difficult because, you know, I'm trying to pay attention to the Navi and know which turns I'm on. Thankfully, I know my street somewhat in my area. Customer, the next customer, six minutes, 1.7 miles. I'm sure I'm gonna have the same issue. Um, it's taken me a little bit longer. I did end up passing one of the streets, but oh my gosh, this might be my last order because Obviously, I might need an update. I talked to my husband. His GPS is working. I don't know what's going on. Have you guys had any issues? Um, yeah, let's go get this order dropped off. This is a uh, 
you know, I'm thinking to myself, how did people do it back in the day with the maps, you know, the old paper maps? Did you guys ever use any of those? I remember my parents using those. It's like, what happens if our GPS is just like a crash? <laughs> we'll have to go back to the old school way. Um, yeah, hopefully it's just the update will solve it for me. Let me know if you guys have had any issues. We're on our way to get this last order dropped off. Oh man, guys, so the GPS was like a little bit better on this run, but I was, you know, missed a turn and had to flip around and, you know, pinch and zoom on the map trying to get here. Got here, thankfully. Oh my gosh. I'm just like, you know, what would we do without the GPSs? <laughs> um, I got here, the orders dropped off. So I get to the building, I find the building and I'm looking at the numbers. They're like townhomes. And I'm like, where is their building? And like, off in the corner, like it's kind of dark back there, off in the corner, I kind of see a path, a really dark path leading behind the building. And I'm like, I wonder if the customer's apartment or townhomes back there, sure enough, it was, um, yeah, a little bit of a funkiness, but it's done. You know, I'm gonna have to go home and figure out this GPS because it is making me run behind, uh, missing my turns. And then I did try to use my car Navi. It could not find the customer city and this city has been here forever, so I don't know what's going on. Uh, maybe the universe is saying, hey, you need to go home, it's time to go home. I was on a roll, at least I felt like I was on a roll, but um, not having the Navi can really uh, throw things off and you know, trying to navigate and drive and all that, it's a little chaotic and then I'm missing turns, all that, but I got both orders dropped off, thankfully. It, it could have gone worse, it could have gone worse. So for both of those orders, I was originally told $16 after I completed both drop-offs. The grand total for both of those orders ended up being $19.50, which is awesome. And um, all went well, except for the whole Navi thing tonight. Um, but yeah, it, it happens. I haven't had to deal with that before. You know, sometimes your, your phone will freeze because you're out of service and that type of thing, but not where I've had trouble with my orders tonight, all of them, right? I think I've had trouble with most of them. So yeah, just some funkiness. I am heading home. Of course, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a like, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Ring the bell so you don't miss out on any notifications and I will see you guys on the next one, hopefully with a working navigation. All right guys, bye.